What's going on everybody, C4 here, welcome back to the channel, and today we are doing a follow-up to a video I thought I never would make, and that is talking about Face of Franchise. In part one, which I think it came out on Tuesday, we kind of talked about Face of Franchise, why I had no desire whatsoever to play the mode in Madden 20, what I think they should fix, what they are going to fix from the patch notes, and, and I'm not really patch notes, but preview notes, hype notes, sizzle reel notes, about what we're going to be getting in Face of Franchise and Madden 21. And then I kind of talked about how it it's a bad thing. Everyone knows generally it's a bad thing. It feels like the franchise mode community is sick that Face of Franchise is included in our umbrella. And it's clearly, you know, the premier mode that Madden wants us to believe it is. That's the first thing they talked about in Madden 20 was, hey, Face of Franchise and the next factors. First thing they talked about in Madden 21, hey, Face of Franchise. And it's, it's not being very well received. And I talked about that, and then I also talked about how, at the end of the day, it could kind of be a good thing that face of franchise is getting pushed, maybe more so than Mutt, because if we can establish some sort of trickle-down with, if all the assets and resources and stuff is going into face of franchise, if we can just ensure that the new stuff that they put into that also is applied to connected franchise mode, it's not ideal, but maybe it ends up being a way that we get uh, our beloved connected franchise mode the love and attention that it deserves. But again, that was it was a lot of assumptions and, and hope and positive thinking. And we encapsulated everything that I, that I thought about at least what we're getting in Face of Franchise and Madden 21. I did say there would be a second video, which is this video. That would be probably less well received because we're going to start talking about the dirty world of microtransactions. And you know, the, few, the, the way that Face of Franchise is going to develop. My predictions, essentially, of how I think this is all going to play out using you know i obviously i have a business degree that's a very very uh, esteemed business degree but I, I do kind of think about things from a business standpoint and how i, how I try to apply that to matt i'm going to try to apply it in this video and hopefully it makes some sense when we get through it but i, I will say i guess the lead off is you know I, I there is a weird part of me that feels like if it's done correctly um the more love and attention to face the franchise gets it should be better for connected franchise mode long term but you know obviously in an ideal world connected franchise mode would have its own dedicated team and it would get you know every new year we get two three new features hammered out every single year constantly improving and not in this holding pattern that connected franchise mode has been really for let's be honest it feels like for the last decade but moving forward face the franchise it's not going away unless you know something that you know a complete change of direction and they realize that, you know, there's going to be other arcade games. 2K is going to be releasing that new 2K arcade football game that Madden needs to uh, really hammer home and establish themselves as the, the, the true sim game. And the only, really, only way you can do that is not through spending money on face of franchise. The only true way that you could separate yourself from 2K is to properly build, maintain, innovate a connected franchise mode because that is why people are going to buy your game. Because let's be honest, there's no way that that 2K football game is not going to be popular, at least in the first year. So in an ideal perfect world, franchise mode will be getting some love. Here's what I think is going to happen. I think they're going to continue to evolve face of franchise, which is... In a way, right now, the only thing Madden has that can compete with 2K's My Career, and I think it's just going to evolve into, really, a clone of My Career. Because you look at 2K My Career, makes them a lot of money. There's a lot of microtransactions in that, and it's only a matter of time. It's, it's, it's EA, it's Madden, until they, <laughs> they go where the money's at, and they're going to retool face a franchise. And here's what I think they're going to do. And that's what the video is going to be, and most people are not going to be happy with it, but... You know, it's, it's stuff that we kind of need to open up a discussion about and talk about and maybe potentially prepare for. And that is Face of Franchise evolving into a 2K career clone, which is obviously you look at 2K. I had to ask people in my Discord because I've never played it. And a lot of people like it, even though it is riddled with microtransactions. But essentially, you know, it's you play in the NBA, you have your, your court where you can do like all these different, you know, kind of NBA street style games. And, and there's a lot of customization. Of course, you can level up and all these things. I assume you could probably grind for some of them. But most people would just load up the credit cards and buy themselves. You know, new gear, new shoes, new tattoos, uh, skill boosts and stuff like that. And that is a market that's thriving for 2K. And that is a market that Madden doesn't have any way of tapping into that type of revenue stream. Until... They evolve face of franchise, which is my prediction. I think eventually we'll be getting a face of franchise 
That is obviously you, what we get now in a ways. I think they'll cut out the whole, you start from high school and you go to college and then you get drafted. And I think they're going to expand it. Maybe you start from the combine. Maybe they could find a way to make it more than just the 40-yard dash. Maybe they give us the bench press, uh, have interviews and stuff like that to set our and determine our player's personality. But then you go and you're like, all right, I'm on a team. But during the week, outside of practice, you can have meetups. You can play NFL street-style 7v7 games. And in that... You're going to want your guy to look dope. You're going to want your guy to have, like, goddamn Road Warrior Legion of Doom spiky shoulder pads. And you're going to want double arm sleeves and huge gold chains and all these things. And you got, you want your guy to be super overpowered so you can flex on him. And all these things are going to cost money. Real life money that earns and generates more revenue for Madden. I, I just cannot see how they're not going to want to tap into this. Uh, and it's not so much to, to rival what they've you know, what, what their competition has in, in 2K, the basketball game, right? Because there is an element of that for sure. But the big thing is that 2K is going to be making that arcade football game that a lot of people right now are going to assume is going to play like an NFL street. So EA is going to not want their players to go play in, in the 2K arcade game. So through face of franchise with the 7v7, the street style games that they've implemented, then you kind of, you know, even if you can find a way to tie in maybe Superstar KO or or have some overlap there. That is going to be the direction I think we are going to see in the future of Face of Franchise. And that's going to be the direction I believe Madden is going to go. Which, I mean, for me, on one hand, it's always going to relate back to Connected Franchise mode. This is a lot of stuff. This is a lot of work. This is stuff that does not exist right now. You can only imagine that if they decide to go down this avenue... There's going to be no room, no time to get coaching carousel, no time to revamp scouting, no time to do all the things that people have been screaming and pleading for in connected franchise mode because all the time and effort is going to have to go into rebuilding, retooling, reshaping face to franchise mode to properly compete not only with the 2K career mode, but the 2K arcade football game. Um, you know, that, that's the bad news. That That is generally the bad news. Microtransactions and just... No love, no time to properly give the attention that Connected Franchise Mode needs and deserves. The positives is, again, for someone like me that views as a content creator, and probably for you guys out there that had no desire to play Face a Franchise, when you open up the gates of hell like this, and you open it up to have just all these different things, it's more content. It's something that's more unique to play. And it's something that's brand new and fresh. It's not your heavy cinematics, feels like I'm going through the motions type career mode that we had in Madden 20. And, and I mean, we don't really know what we're getting in Madden 21, but it's definitely not what I am kind of, you know, brainstorming and talking about here. So as someone like myself that has no desire to play Face of Franchise, you open up the gates of hell, you bring that, that street style pickup, you bring in the fact that for someone like me that, I mean, I don't spend money on on mutt packs and stuff like that but if you could tell me i can make pl mullins and it's gonna cost me five dollars to give him you know that a retro 80s cuban links chain that's just baller probably gonna do it you're gonna get more money for me because i know that that will be something that people want to see in content just to make it funny and stuff like that so uh the positive is that it would make face a franchise obviously a much more playable mode a lot more replayability a lot more customization all the things that face a franchise right now is lacking so there is some positives to it. I think for the people that are watching this video and kind of how I feel at the end of the day, there are going to be more negatives to it. But just, you know, it, this is a brainstorm video. This is not, I don't have any leaks. I don't have any inclination about what the direction they're going to go. But I just think about it. There's just, it, it's Madden. Everything's about Monopoly, right? People talk about the Monopoly on the rights. I just don't think they're going to let 2K make a football game unopposed. I just do not think that. And when you look at the game, you know, Superstar KO is not, I mean, in a way, it's kind of that arcade experience. Maybe that was them trying to get ahead of the curve, but I don't think it's really going to end up being head-to-head -head competition with what 2K is going to be offering. I think more so transitioning that face of franchise into a clone of the 2K career, and then through that, implementing some street arcade style games that you can play. Um, I, I do think that that is more likely the answer and i think generally from just if i'm looking at it from a selfish content creator standpoint bringing back nfl street being able to do like that that's pretty cool i would want to play that i love playing those games as a kid nfl street one was cool nfl street two is probably my favorite i still have it on my ps2 and occasionally we'll play it when my buddies are over drinking it's it's a really really fun game and it opens up a whole lot of of unique 
experiences that we haven't had in football games, man. Being able to play life. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to keep going down this hole. But then you can have, you know, your seven v seven teams. Your other six, you can throw in some mutt. You gotta be able to draft cards and all this stuff. And the more money you spend for the cards, the better your teammates are gonna be. You start out right at the rip. You got Nelson Aguilar as your wide receiver, and you're like, oh well, this is awful. But hey, for whatever thousand points, buy these packs. You might have a chance to get. My Minnesota Vikings, Randy Moss, or something like that. And that's going to be your team that you go into battle with and stuff like that. Oh, I feel disgusting a little bit. I need a shower after this. But as much as it is that anti-franchise idea of thinking of like, oh, microtransactions and not being franchise mode and all these stuff, you know, it still would be kind of cool, I guess. Something that, that that's that different, that unique. I, I think generally speaking, if they came out and they announced that Madden 22 is going to have literally some version of what I'm saying. because And everyone's going, oh, look, that's what Madden's doing to combat the 2K Arcade game. If they did that and didn't do anything else for franchise mode, it's another year that that took all the priority. I think I would be hating myself. But if we can get a mode like that and then still, you know, get a reasonable and appropriate amount of updates to connected franchise mode. Maybe not the big overhaul that it really does deserve and that we, a lot of us are screaming for. But if... If they decide to go face a franchise and completely retool it, and they still give at least a reasonable amount of updates to connected franchise mode, I, I think I'm a happy camper, honestly. But again, this video is a pretty much glorified, just shooting the shit. You know, I started talking about face a franchise, and I was like, well, you know, this could be an interesting second video to talk about because it's, you know, there's just there's going to be something that Madden's going to do to combat the arcade game that 2K is going to release. I just refuse to believe they're not going to. They, they will they will listen to that before they listen to the franchise mode community. And uh, this is kind of the best case scenario. We could find a way to, to leverage, you know, 2K making a game, which hell, as, as a football fan myself and a football video game creator and you guys out there that are, aren't generally unhappy with Madden Friday, by all means, I'm going to be going out and, and getting that 2K arcade game. But I just think that if there's a way that Madden's going to combat that, I think kind of the way that I came up with it would be generally pretty cool. You still have all, you know, get EA big. Make that studio thing again and let them kind of go ahead and make this. Like, you know, Call of Duty. It's it's Treyarch and Infinity Ward, right? And then they have they make the base game. But then they have that Raven Software. They're another small whatever. And they do Battle Royale or something like that. And they all kind of work together. But you have two studios working on the same game. In an ideal world, EA would be like, we're bringing back EA big. They brought back Skate. Now let's bring back EA big. Let them control the new face of franchise, so that then you have all the time and resources of your regular Madden team to work on and give the proper updates for connected franchise mode. And then I wake up from the dream that I was just having and uh, we get face of franchise completely updated and we get customizable draft boards in Madden 22. But I don't know, guys, just kind of throwing ideas out here, brainstorming, shooting this shit here on this beautiful Friday. Let me know what you guys think about the future of face of franchise do you think it'll go to uh, 2k my career route have microtransactions and um you know maybe get some inspiration of nfl street how do you think madden is going to respond to 2k coming up with an arcade game i love seeing these and reading these ideas in the comments so feel free to let your voices be heard but that does it read it guys thank you for watching as always your first time stopping by don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button smash the like button if you enjoyed and until next time it's c4 saying peace out.